uh, we'll grab our commander head from years back. And uh, what we can do is we can take this head with more view and we can just paint textures directly on it. So we can go in here to texture, import, and let's go ahead and just grab one of these heads here. And if I want to go ahead and even just modify this texture, I can. I can go again to adjust colors and I can change the RGB intensity, hue, shift, and all that good stuff. Uh, or I can also do it after it's been a poly paint. I kind of leave that up to you. So let's go in here to subtool. I'm going to turn off everything except for his skin areas. And again, we're going to go down here to UV map, morph UV. It's going to spread them out. So you can already see, like, if you wanted to bring in some, like, displacement maps and use Spotlight to kind of go through and brush on your detail, uh, you can. One thing we can talk about, if I want a little bit of indication of where these things are, you can use your polyframe. If you turn your polyframe on now, it's just going to be a mess of really high resolution stuff. However, if you go out of Morph UV, drop your subdivision level down to 1, turn on polyframe, go back up, and you're going to have a simpler polyframe. So I hope when we Morph UV... There you go, not quite, not quite a fit. And in fact, if we go over here to fill, you can turn off your fill and now you have a simplified uh, polygon layout. However, that's still not quite good enough for me for positioning my features. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here, let's go ahead and turn on X symmetry, turn off a line cursor to surface, and we're just gonna grab a little bit of a darker area, RGB turned on. Let's go ahead and turn that texture off. There we go. So I'm just gonna give myself indications of where the dark areas are is gonna kinda let me know like where the, and this guy's face is totally busted. Like his nostrils all over the place. Obviously, he's missing uh, some very important sections of his mouth here. So these are gonna kind of be his lips. They're kind of curled underneath. Um, these are gonna kind of be his bottom lip here. So I'm just gonna give myself some indications of where I want to be painting uh, when I'm using this guy. And also, we can maybe even do his hairline in here. Although that's not nearly as important. But if you wanted to, you could go through here and map his hairline. Uh, okay, so now we've got this here. Let's go ahead and say Morph UV. And let's go ahead and grab that texture. So texture, select it, add it to Spotlight. And then now I'm going to shrink this down just a little bit. We're going to take this opacity down. And then I apologize in advance. Um, like I said, my wife is flying back from Japan. And uh, <laughs> so I'm wrangling these squeaky dogs. Uh, so now we're just going to kind of position uh, our head in the space. Now, again, my features are all over the place. You can go through Spotlight and you can kind of move these things around. Uh, but you know what? I think for our purposes, what we can do is we can just start lining up some features. Actually, first, let's do this. RGB, standard brush. We can go ahead and um, turn off X symmetry. We can start painting. I'm going to hit Shift Z. I'm going to hit uh, C, color, fill object, just to kind of get a base color going. And then now we can go through here and we can start coloring in like where our face would kind of go. Actually, shoot. Let's do this. Let's go. Okay, I do want to fill, but I want to leave these dark areas alone. So let's go in here to our masking, mask by color, mask by poly paint. And we're going to select these dark areas here and say, okay. And then I can invert that mask. All right, don't invert that mask. And then I go to color object. There we go. See how easy that is now? So, uh, back where we started. Shift Z. Uh, we're going to go through here with our standard brush and we're going to paint in where we want our detail. Now the eyeballs again are going to be kind of in this area and also probably a little bit bigger. And then the ears are kind of over here and we can kind of just kind of get those into place-ish. Oh, here's another thing too. So when I hit Z, I'm going to take this intensity and I'm going to drop that back just a little bit. Some of those pure blacks are starting to make it go transparent. So I don't necessarily want that. And then we'll go over here to this side. And then we'll line up this ear. Sorry, it's a little bit boring. And uh, obviously you're going to want to take your time and, you know, do it make sure everything's cool, but we're just going to do a quick demo here. And then the bottom of my mouth is somewhere in this area. So we're going to kind of plop this right in here. And this will be good enough. And then that bottom lip, we can try to be like, hey, man, let's give you a little semblance of a bottom lip. Kind of got stretched out there and you're, and you got mutilated. But we can give them a shot. We can be like, there you go, buddy. Okay, so uh, now that we have that, we can go through here. Let's go to our 
uh, UV map, more for UV back, and let's go ahead and switch this over to our Skin Shader 4. Boy, it looks a little bit rough, but we can do a little bit of cleanup here. So I'm going to hit C, let's turn on X symmetry again, and uh, first thing I'm going to do is get rid of these areas here, and then we can kind of clean up uh, these areas like so. Now, you may remember, let's go ahead, and in fact, let's go in here and with our standard brush or stroke, and then we'll turn on maybe, just give it a little bit of flavor. Let's go in here with our Alpha 07. And we can kind of start, kind of just lightly brush this. And you can actually add uh, streaks uh, to this type of thing as well. And, uh, you know, modify this as needed. We'll go through here and kind of clean this up just a little bit. And I'm just tapping C to inherit those colors. Now, if you remember, uh, we can also go through here. That's, that's actually, sorry, it bugs me. Uh, you can go through here with the extractor brush. So if you like, uh, you know, this hair here. So let's go to, um, let's turn off X symmetry, B, X, T. And we can grab, it'll grab the height information and the texture information uh, at the same time. So we can hit G and we just go and grab some hair here. Give it a second. And there we go. We can go through here and we can just start painting that hair on there. Now, if it's not detailed enough, you can see maybe it got a little bit grainy. Uh, what you can also do is when you're going through here and you're grabbing it, it's going to take it a little bit longer. You can go in here to your alpha. And remember we were talking about earlier, when you hit from brush, it's going to ask you how wide do you want it. By default, it's 128. If we set this to say 512, um, the length is always going to be determined by how long you drag it. But the width is going to be the overall kind of texture density. So if we change that to 512, uh, we can go through here and we can just kind of grab. And then again, it's going to take a little bit longer because it's doing over long, and that'll get you more texture resolution. But basically, they kind of blur out the ends, so as you're, you can kind of do a seamless transition. There you go, a little bit more higher res for you. So now let's say, um, let's go ahead and turn on everything back on here. Let's say I wanted to do, well, first of all, let's go ahead and grab this. We got the skin material. Oops, I guess we don't. Skin Shader 4, we're going to say M, Color, Fill Object, and then turn RGB back on. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to, now that we can select, so we're just going to fill with a Skin Shader 4 color material, and then we can go in here to um, our material here, and we're going to say under Modifiers, there is, oh, I'm sorry, under Wax Modifiers, you can crank up the strength, it's going to yell at you and say you need to turn on your render. So Render, Properties, wax preview, and then we can start giving him a little bit of a little wax strength in that skin there. Uh, and then now, when we go in here to our light, and go through here, we can start, you know, getting some good renders. Now that shadow's not going to work, so we can go in here to our render properties. Sorry, uh, tangent. Uh, we got shadows here. We're going to go into our shadow properties here. We're going to drop that global strength down a little bit and change that angle just to blur it just a bit. There we go. So, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Now, another thing we can do, we know we can do this, is we can go in here to our poly paint, and we can say adjust colors. So if I want to do, maybe make them a little bit more undead. Let's drag them into the greens just a little bit, and drag his saturation down just a little bit, and maybe his RGB intensity up just a tad. You drop his HSV intensity. So we're going to turn him into a Frankenstein. Bam. Okay, so uh, also that strength is a little bit much for me. Let's go into our uh, wax, wax strength here. Okay, so uh, we now have a Frankenstein guy. 